uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to another video of mine in this tutorial uh, I'm going to show you how to how to create a different kind of buttons so in uh, Adobe XD I have uh, designed uh, five different buttons and we are going to uh, implement them in Android Studio so uh, we're going to uh, implement the first green button and next we are going to uh, create one by one until we reach the final button which is uh, circle button go uh, okay so now that we have that we're going to copy this green color and uh, open your android studio and just create one uh, simple project as uh, we always do uh, we're going to name it uh, custom buttons just click next 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 and finish we're going to wait a little bit until android studio finish uh, building our project uh, okay i think uh, it's done so the next thing we are going to do uh, is uh, we are going to change the theme we are going to use no action bar theme just for the purpose of this video and uh, next we are going to delete this uh, text and add one button we are going to center this button uh, with this uh, uh, constraint layout like that so uh, now we are going to uh, add a few attributes to this button we are going to change the text size and uh, text color also text uh, all caps to false and then uh, width will be uh, 250 and uh, height to 60 dp okay now we are going to add uh, size and color size will be 20 d uh, sp and the color will be uh, white I like that so the next thing we're going to do uh, uh, we're going to add one drawable resource file in drawable folder we're going to name it uh, custom button and uh, now we're going to change this uh, selector into a shape and we're going to add this uh, one attribute uh, which will which is a shape and we're going to choose a rectangle and next we are going to use a solid tag and uh, add uh, this green color uh, from the first button just copy it and paste it like like I just did okay so that's uh, that's it for the first button we are now just going to import this uh, drawable file into our button with the background uh, attribute and next uh, we are going to run the application to see uh, how our button looks like in the android emulator ok we are going to wait until uh, our emulator uh, finish uh, installing this application ok and now we have it as you can see uh, the, bu the button is uh, pretty beautiful so we are going to continue and uh, create the next button uh, our next button is a blue button with a corner radius of 10 we're going to copy the blue color again and just paste it here uh, instead of the green and we're going to add one more attribute uh, which is corners and uh, its radius will be 10 dp like uh, i just said and there we go so we're going to run this application again to check it out in uh, android emulator and there we go we have successfully created the second button so we're going to continue and uh, create the third button uh, which is this pink button with a stroke uh, we're going to copy uh, this uh, color and uh, we're going to replace that instead we're going to uh, use a stroke tag and just paste this color and the width of this uh, stroke will be 1 dp 
and the uh, corner radius uh, will be 5 dp. So there we go, uh, we're just going to change the, this uh, text button text color to the same color uh, as, the, as the stroke. And now let's start our application to check it out. So as you can see uh, we have successfully created uh, this pink button too. It looks uh, cool. Uh, next thing uh, we're going to create a gradient button. Uh, we need to copy two colors. First is a green on the left side and uh, blue on the right side. So head over to our custom button file. But before that we're going to switch to blue uh, to white color for our uh, button text. And then uh, we're going to use a gradient tag in this uh, file. Uh, we're going to use start color, uh, end color and uh, type. Start color is already copied. Uh, we're going to copy the end color. And uh, we're going to add the type to linear. And that's it. Uh, we're just uh, going to increase uh, radius to let's say 50. Okay, now let's check it out. We're going to run our application again. And there you go, we have our button, like it's on our design, it's pretty the same. And the final uh, button will be circle button, so we're going to copy this, uh, this color. And um, first we're going to change uh, our text from button to go, like uh, it's on our design. And we're going to change uh, height and width to 100 dp. So we're going to remove this uh, gradient and uh, add uh, solid and add color like that. And uh, we're going to just add um, corners to let's say uh, 999 dp. It doesn't matter. I could uh, say 100, but uh, let's try. Uh, let's type 999. Okay, and uh, there you go. We have created the circle button as well. Let's open this uh, Android emulator again and let's see. So there you go. We have created five different kind of buttons. I hope you will learn uh, from this tutorial of mine. And uh, uh, see you in the next video.